This is video number two for instructions on how to use your new note tools on Dr. Chrono's iPad EHR. We keep getting the same question. What is the difference between the clinical form tools and the workflow editor? For this video, we're going to concentrate on the workflow editor. Okay, so if you're on your iPad, we now step you through an HMP and we step you through a SOAP and we give you default templates for each. Now if you want to be able to change these default templates, the ones that we've already made for you in the SOAP and HMP, that is when you would use the workflow editor on drchrono.com. So you would pull up drchrono.com workflow editor. That's what you want. Okay. It looks a lot like what appears on my iPad. It actually looks exactly like what appears on my iPad. So if I want to completely change the subjective questions in the SOAP, then all I would have to do is pull up that option, SOAP subjective, and make any changes that I want to make. So if I want to completely take out HPI, I don't want that as a selection in my template. I would choose HPI and I would delete HPI. Now let's say I also want to change social history to a drop-down. So I chose social history and I'll leave it as a field because we want it as a drop-down and I'll put smoking, I'll put married, I'll put single and I'll create a drop-down from these three selections just by scrolling down pressing update field. So the second you make changes to your workflow editor on the website, those changes will appear for you to use on your iPad. So if I go here and I just refresh and I go back into the chart, then those will be gone, right? So I got rid of HPI, remember it used to be up here, and I changed social from free text to a dropdown. So the three selections I just created now appear for me here. So again, you're more than welcome to change any of the default templates we gave you for SOAP and for H&P. In order to do that, you have to go to drchrono.com and go to Workflow Editor. Mm -hmm.